You know that if you can know, if you could totally hide all the way under if you wanted to. Everyone headed to Klon Awatuki. A lady just called. So a few weeks ago, there was a speckled rattlesnake in their backyard. They have a door that had this like a step below it, and there was a snake. The speckled rattlesnake wedged itself in there. And uh, I guess she said there is another speckled rattlesnake right under that step of the door. Hi. Hi how's it going? Um, good. I'm like. I'm gonna call my friend. <laughs> I know a person. I know, I have a sneak lady. <laughs> Should I go through? I can't, I cannot believe. So this is the third one. No, that's one. the third one. This is the third. We had one in June. This is crazy. Is there, is there a discount <laughs> card? Do you get like a... We're gonna have to start getting you a punch card or something. Oh my god. Such he a weird further under there too. Oh, did he? Okay, cool. I brought... He, he what? Well, you can still see him a tiny bit, but he was sticking out a lot further when I saw him. So oh, nice. Good, good. Like a roll hanging out. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a rattlesnake because it looks. Oh, insane. it is. It's a speck. Yeah, the same as last time. Yeah, same kind as last time. Oh, you're pretty. Oh, God. <clears throat> he looks bigger. Oh, he looks God. lighter. It's wider? It seems light, really oh, lighter color. Yeah, color. Oh, that's crazy. I know, it's gonna look at the picture and compare and see if it is the same one. I don't think it is. No, I don't think so either. He looks a lot. He Doesn't looks he look whiter? Yeah, he looks like... What was the first one you guys had under the door? It was the yeah, okay. it was it was huge. Come on, thick. I mean, I am poking him, so. Yeah, you <laughs> there you go, bud. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah, it's a big one. I've got a little small tail. Yeah. Ah, dang it. You know that if you come out, I'm going to get you. <laughs> He's been under here probably all day. He could totally hide all the way under if he yeah, wanted to. Yeah. yeah, that's true. He's so good at this. He's like, I'll be here all day. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there you go. Come on, buddy. Yeah. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I got you. Oh, wow. There so you got my tool. Oh, he is angry. Ooh, he's gorgeous. He can take a look. Does he look lighter? He does look lighter. The other one is a little bluer. Yeah. Darker shades of gray. Wow. They still, they still, they blend in with the granite. I didn't know if there was like. Mm -hmm. I spec here. A little fired up. I had to poke him a bunch to get him out of that door there. All right, I want to show you guys how. Like, well, they blend in. Look at that snake. Look at how well it blends into that rock. I'm gonna put him up here. Wow. And he's gone. See you, Speck. And that was another spectacular call on South Mountain. Get it? Spectacular? <laughs> I'll be here all day. So, uh, that is the third snake they've had under that little door, lip of that door in the last couple months. I think the snakes end up getting in their yard, going on the patio, and then literally just kind of going under that door, not for any specific reason more than it's just shaded and sheltered. So uh, their house is right on the corner and uh, South Mountain is right behind it. So great spot. That is a beautiful speck we just got. And yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I just caught a snake. <laughs> uh, I wish I could have filmed it. It was a kind of exciting one but there's really no way to do it. It was like the third boulder pile up on a steep hillside with a lot of climbing and really a low chance of success. I actually saw this snake yesterday on an inspection of a property way deep in a crevice where it was denning. So I had to come back today with a garden hose and some different tools to see if I could get it out. I tried it out and I was able to get it out, but did not film it. So you have to, uh, you'll just have to trust me that it was exciting 
Uh, I said a lot of bad words. I'm probably bleeding a little bit. Um, and I do have a very hard uh, fought <laughs> snake. All right, this is a very good replacement den for this snake. I don't have to worry about freezing this winter or being attacked by anybody. Other than me, of course, I'm just catching it, unfortunately. I'm scared. It's hiding its head. Old wet snake. And we wanted to retreat into these rocks, of course. I mean, obviously it would have been better if this snake could have just stayed where it was, but the outcome here is a lot better than it could have been. If the homeowners would have discovered that, uh, or somebody wouldn't have called us, it would have been killed. So this gives it a chance, and it's really not a bad place. Hopefully that is the last time that we ever see that guy. Good luck. All right, I thought I would check out one little spot. And right up there you can see there's a little western diamondback sleeping away. Right there. All right, I finished with that relocation. And now it's time for me to get serious about packing for Peru. There's a lot to do here. 